Hi and welcome back. In this video we're going to just learn about some of the basics of working with the Dreamweaver um, window. So you can see here this is going to be the way uh, Dreamweaver CS6 appears um, right after it installs if you haven't made any um, changes to it. And if you've never used an Adobe application before, if you're used to maybe Microsoft applications, the way Adobe organizes its um, tools can be a little bit um, uh, disconcerting for you, uh, but just for a second. The main areas of the screen are you've got your menu bar up here at the top. We also have some special menus that are represented by icons right here. You've got your panel area over here to the right. And whenever I say um, in any of the videos, go ahead and look at your panels, what I'm talking about is this area right over here. And then down here at the bottom, you actually have your properties panel. So we have our menus up here at the top, our panels over here to the right, and our properties at the bottom. Now, these tabs here open and close different sections. For example, right now you can see I'm in the file section. And that's pretty obvious from what we can see here. If I click on Assets, I'll move to that tab in the window. So we can very easily go back and forth between those two different sets of controls. Now, you can see above it, I have Business Catalyst, and I can't see anything underneath that. But if I click on it, you'll see that that area does appear. If I click it again, nothing happens. But if I double click it, it collapses. So in doing this, in expanding and collapsing the different windows by clicking and double clicking, you can show or hide tools that you use or that you need and still have the maximum available space. If I click on CSS styles here or AP elements or double click on insert you'll see that the more uh, tabs I open up, the less each one has, or the less space each one has. But I can simply double click and collapse those anytime that I want. And you can also move these tabs around, group them differently just by um, dragging them and um, dropping them. And the same thing is also true for the properties panel right down here. You can see I don't have a page open right now, so this is grayed out. But if I was to open up a page, you'll see the tools come to life. And I can also double click and click that to open and close that panel. And that again gives me more space to actually see the page that I'm actually working on here. And open up a page, we're going to see how to set up a site and create pages in that site in just a little bit. But I've got uh, just a few sample pages right here and to open that up I've just been double clicking on it and then clicking this X right there to close it. So you can expand and collapse these different areas. Now, you also have the window menu right up here at the top. And if I go to the window menu, you can see that Files has a check mark next to it. If I click on Assets, you'll switch over, over to that panel. So this is just another way of getting to the exact same um, item. Now, you're going to notice, actually, let me go ahead and close that off there really quick. I did that too quickly. Um, right now there's nothing over here in my panels window for history. And if I wanted to open up the histories panel, I would go to the window menu and select that option. And when I do that, you're going to see a new panel and a new tab appears here. You can close these in again a couple different ways. I can simply double click on it and it collapses it down and you can see it made history real small there. And then I can click it to bring it back up. 
So collapsing it is sort of like closing it, but you can also go to this drop down menu here in the upper right corner of that and you can select close or close tab group. Now in this case I only have one tab here so closing it will do the exact same thing as close tab group it makes it disappear you can see history is no longer um, available there. I can turn it back on though by going to my window menu and selecting history. If I was to come here and say close on the files item you'll see it closes just that tab and if I wanted to bring that back up again I can click on files and you'll see it reappears there. If I come here to close tab groups it's going to close both files and assets. But if I was to come back to window and click on files it'll open that back up and just for good measure it opened up the other tabs that by default show up in that group. So the important thing that I want to point out to you uh, at this point is that if you don't see a particular tab here if I say at one point click on the assets panel and you don't see it you can go to the window menu and click on that option to go to it. So you can always open up any panel from the window menu. And again, I like to expand and collapse these different items just so that I have the most space possible to um, work on the screen. One other thing you can do with the panels group right over here is you're going to see up at the very top, we've got these drop-down menus right here. 